implementation of the health insurance scheme remains a highly debatable subject, well as the National Health Insurance Authority has been put in place to manage the scheme, its formation remains highly questioned. During a colloquium hosted by the Southern African Social Protection Experts Network and Frederick Herbert Sifter, stakeholders raised concern on government's lack of stakeholder involvement in the health insurance scheme implementation. We think maybe our colleagues, they are being driven by the love of money. Because where there is money, they are not, they can't delay to fix a percentage where other people are not involved. We are, in particular, we have institutions like NAPSA, which is falling under the Ministry of Labor. And why should we take this scheme at the Ministry of Health? We are against this current situation where it's only the minister who can declare the 1%. How it was declared, we don't know. So it gives power to one person. He will change it. Where do we have such kind of a system? He becomes the alpha and omega of everything. How was the one percent arrived at? We have posed the same question before with no answer to this date. Of a board that is about 11 people, there are only two representatives of these two bodies. One from workers, one from employers, with seven representing government. For us, that was a bit of a miss. The Ministry of Health's involvement in the collection of the fund was also highly questioned. Concerns were raised. But when you deal with the people who don't respect others, they always push their way through, and this is what they have done. We also doubt this money which they want to collect. We are aware that some drugs, not a month ago, they disappeared. And they found themselves in the black market. We don't know how those drugs, which were supposed to help the very people we are talking about, they are being sold on the black market at very, very high price. How do we entrust them to manage this scheme. How are we sure that this money will be in the right for hands? The International Labour Organization and the organizers of the event want Zambians to be guaranteed of universal health coverage. You, yeah, you can lay claim to services compared to when it's just tax finance. But when you are putting in your money, you can lay claim to, uh, to services. And uh, be, be, yeah, because uh, health insurance also uh, mobilizes a lot of re uh, resources, uh, those re resources can also go into the de development and, uh, of uh, infrastructure. Health is a key aspect of the provision of social protection by the state, but also um, looking at the advanced stage that um, the provision of a universal health scheme has reached, um, also in line with the Act, we thought it would be wise that um, moving forward, we have everyone on board to look at opportunities on how we can have a strengthened policy framework that ensures there's a the efficient provision of a universal health uh, scheme in Zambia for Zambians. While all this discussion was underway, none from the government was present to provide answers. The National Health Insurance Authority, who had committed to attend the meeting, made a last minute cancellation Implementation of the health insurance scheme remains in suspense as key players, who are the employers and workers, have rejected the planned implementation plan. Mwapekumwenda, Prime TV News, Lusaka.